you were off to something. It was sad to see that like our original version of the movie wasn't going to end up happening. But, you know, I think it was pretty much what they said in the press, like the creative differences thing, even though that sounds pat. Like it was just that. I mean, it was just they had a sort of, I think, a slightly different vision. I don't really exactly know the details in terms of how it was different because I wasn't privy to any of that. And then getting to work with Ron, you know, I loved working with Phil and Chris and I loved working with Ron. He was just like, he's such an enthusiastic guy. He loves making movies and he's a great leader and it was really a wonderful experience. I don't know how that all was cutting together, so I'm not really sure. I know we still had quite a lot of jokes, you know, when we were working with Ron and stuff and still improvised and things like that. You look good. For something that on paper sounds like the scariest thing that could ever happen, it was dealt with so gracefully and with such care and sensitivity. And Ron is just <laughs> incredible. I think it was He's a amazing. brilliant bit of producing from Kathy Kennedy to, to have exactly. Ron come in because not only is he consummate professional and a super accomplished filmmaker, he's also impossible to resent and dislike. I think it can empirically be said that he is the nicest person on earth. If there was somebody who was going to come and steady a ship, exactly. he was 100% the right person to do that. What do you think? Well, what do you know? I was on the outside of of the uh, of that, and uh, never it never affected my day to day, so to speak. I was just hot every day. <laughs> so when do you know how to fly? 190 years old. You look great. 